All right, thanks for joining us as uh, Lawrence from the Forest Ranch. I'm here to ha have Nota Begay, professional golfer, PGA Tour. Um, he's won several events, and he's native to New Mexico, grew up here all his life, has been playing golf for you know lots of years. So, yeah, thanks for coming on board. Nota. Oh, absolutely, Lawrence, and I really appreciate the chance to come in your awesome facility here. My son trains here. Lawrence puts him through the odds and ends and makes him sore and tired, so he actually sleeps well, which is great. <laughs> but um, as you know, and what you experience in working with different clients at various skill levels and age levels and levels of fitness is that um, you want to avoid injury. One of the things that helped me back sort of early in my career was I had a, a sustained a, a really bad low back injury, which kind of, I think, prevented me from sort of achieving some of my potential on tour. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what I've done as an analyst for NBC and the Golf Channel and now sort of pursuing golf again at a high level on the PJ Tour Champions is try to find workouts and exercises that not only enhance performance, so give me the ability to sort of hit the ball further, mm -hmm. um, play over a longer period of time, but also prevent injury and sort of make me stronger sort of in the long run, so to speak. You know, I'm over 50 years old now, so I can't train like I did. None of us can train like we, we did when we were 25 years old, but at the end of the day, we can still do a lot of things to sort of not only help us perform in our day-to-day our -day activities and sort of our special interests, mm -hmm. but also um, in life. And I'm trying to do both. I got three kids, and so I'm chasing them around. And so doing all those things, I think, matters. And I think what's important to know is this is certainly not a paid advertisement for, for anything um, other than endorsement of Lawrence and his yeah. ability as a trainer. Well, but thank you. I'm going to be using some, some um, modalities and some devices here that I think are great. Um, uh, Forever Golf does not pay me, but I really believe in some of their exercises and actually the... Um, the little uh, pole I'm going to be using that I think is is great for functional training. So, uh, what we're cool. going to so what we're going to get started off here with Lawrence is just um, a basic isolation. Sort of what I've found throughout the years is that a lot of the training is is focused on the modern is is on power, mm -hmm. right? And how do we generate power? And you know, obviously, get stronger, get faster, but then. I think one of the questions that often goes unanswered is, well, how do we slow it down? Yeah. Right? What are the breaks? And I think that's where a lot of the injury comes from, especially in golf. And if you're a right-handed golfer, all of the power is being generated through your kinetic chain as you deliver it into the impact zone. But then what happens after impact? Your shoulder, your hip, your knee, your ankle have to slow the club head down, mm -hmm. right? The ball provides a little of resistance, but it's on the club face for split seconds. And so getting your body to slow the club down can actually be a problem. And mm -hmm. so that's why I very much emphasize very balanced training. So whatever I do on one side, I always do on the other side. And that really, I think, enhances balance, prevents injury, and gives everybody a chance to sort of feel like they're pushing the ball forward, so to speak. So. This is um, what I call an anti-rotational, or I guess what, Forever Golf. Troy Van Beesen, um, longtime PGA Tour trainer, uh, trained some very, very high-end and talented golfers. But um, you know, this is an exercise that I saw on uh, their website. And it's just, it's an anti-rotational exercise. A lot of emphasis in golf is put on rotation. And I always felt like, well, let's put a little bit of emphasis on anti-rotation. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to run through this. And if you do want to go um, and check it out, you can go to the Forever Golf website. They have a bunch of really amazing exercises. And so what I'm going to try and do here is there's very minimal resistance on this cable. And what I'm going to do is as this cable is working towards my left knee. My left knee is going to work from a lower position to an upper position. Okay, I'm definitely not explaining that right. But yeah. all we're doing is trying to isolate certain sets of muscles to stabilize them as they're working through a rotational motion. I'm sure there's some very high-end clinical references to motions like this well, but we, we um, just call it we just call it like a, a contralateral right, right. contralateral so opposite arm to opposite leg that's perfect no, so what you want to do is just make sure you get the tension right not too much tension but just enough to where your challenge you get in what i call is we all call the bug position and then let that opposite leg drop and then it's not an explosive motion 
It's a very slow motion, mm -hmm. keeping your core engaged, working in unison. Timing is just as important as working through the range motion. So everything is working in sync. Big part of producing power in golf is timing. So every time, every instance that you have to create synchronization between your muscles, your mind, and what you're trying to do will only enhance your ability to generate the right amount of speed at the right time. And then, of course, I'll switch it up. And the, uh, the grip positions on this bar will impact how much leverage you have. If you want to work a little harder, you move the hand in closer to the center. You want to need a little bit more leverage on the outside, which will give you a little bit of assistance. Uh, just simple physics. So then I'll get in that bug position. Leg goes down, and then it moves up. Good timing. Remember, always breathe. No, I like that. It's good. And again, if it's too hard, move back toward the anchor. If it's too easy, move a little bit further away and just feel the tension in the band um, that feels appropriate. And this is the uh, Golf Forever um, training bar. And um, I love it. I travel with it. Um, goes with me in my golf bag. And um, just find an anchor point and you can do a whole bunch of different exercises. We're going to try another one in a second. Hey, no to be gay, a third back here with our Golf Forever to, uh, training um, bar, I guess they, I would call it, um, here with Lawrence Herrera at his beautiful performance trance gym. And I just wanted to ask you, Lawrence, I'm going to go to another exercise that's, that focuses on the same sort of anti-rotational movement that sort of holds muscles in place, uh, fighting resistance. Mm -hmm. And it's get a little bit more difficult than the one we just did. And then the one after this will be a little bit more difficult than this one. How important is that progressive challenge as an athlete sort of moves through different levels of strength? Yeah, I mean, it's super important. The progression is everything, right? So if you don't if you don't have the proper core control like you just did demonstrate earlier with on your back, right? It's, it's like, I, I think of it like a baby. A baby needs to start when they, before they even move and before they walk, right? They start on their back, they're playing with their toes, right? So be on your back, learning how to control that core, moving up to like a, a half kneeling position, like usually the next pro, pro, uh, progression forward or just kind of making it a little more challenging, right? And then you end up ultimately on your feet. But it's, you know, just like a baby learns to crawl or walk, it doesn't happen right away. It takes you know, a year for someone, a baby to start to actually walk and move. So progression is everything. If we don't properly dose the exercise, one, you're at risk for injury. That's the number one thing. And usually you're at risk for just dis, uh, dysfunction. You're gonna use compensation um, patterns to do the movement. We don't and Lawrence, we don't want to break the number one rule in the gym, was, which is never get hurt in the yeah, gym, right? You should never get hurt, right? in, the should never get hurt no, in the gym unless you're, you're going a little too fast or pushing a mm -hmm. little too, too much. And so, again, um, we're going to be facing the anchor point is to my right. I'm going to work um, the opposite side here, and then I'll sort of face the other direction um, to work the, um, the counter side. As we move further away, we get more resistance. So I kind of have worked with this a little bit, so I'm gonna go just a little where I feel a little bit of tension, okay? And so this one's gonna be on the knees, and I'm gonna back this pad up just a bit. So I basically want the band to be working at a 90 degree angle. It's not too far forward, or it's not too far near me, okay? So it's a 90 degree angle at a nice balanced position, Again, you move your hands in where they're comfortable, okay? And the key to this exercise here is good, good timing, but also keep this uh, center point of this bar right in the center point of my body. And it's just up and then overhead. Down, overhead. One more time. 
Now what's happening, and it's tough to see on camera obviously, but I can feel it, is this band is trying to pull me and rotate me this way. Mm -hmm. Hence the whole term anti-rotation, right? So my body is fighting to hold me into what I call, what I want as an ideal position. It's the same thing that we all focus on in our golf swings. We're trying to hold certain positions as we move through certain ranges of motion to produce the power, the strike, and the quality that we're looking for. And so that's why I am such a huge proponent of these anti-rotational mm -hmm. exercises because they promote a lot of what's important in golf, but also I think a lot that gets overlooked. And so what I'll do is I'll switch it and no, la no laughing at my backside here. <laughs> um, move this pad back. Make sure to always take your time to get set up right so the angles and the bands and the tensions are good. And once you get set and locked, good timing, make every rep really matter. Don't hurry through it. Do one more. Focus on breathing. Great. Again, that is sort of a, what I would call a, a middle tier challenge within the whole strength and, and progression. And um, I've taken it to the next step here where it's the same exact exercise except I'm on my feet now, mm -hmm. okay? And all that does for me is and this is my personal interpretation of kind of the next step that I wanted to take with this particular device um, and the tension in the band and the concept behind anti-rotation is to make it more dynamic. So the first move on our back, very static, a lot of, a lot, um, very little motion overall. Um, a little bit more motion here through the upper body, still keeping the lower half of the body pretty quiet. Now, as we get into what is more common and what is more representative of a real golf swing is, again, same setup. You move further away from the anchor. If you want more tension, get closer. If you want less tension, just find what's right for you to get through what I, you know, anywhere minimum of 10 to what I call maybe 15 to 20 on the high side. Um, great friend of ours, great trainer of ours, Chris Frankel, um, head of research there at TRX, um, always said, hey, do as many as you can until you can do two more perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's a good, good place, yep. a good place to sort of stop. If you feel like you got one or two more reps in you that are perfect, that's a good place to stop. If that's 10, if that's 12, if that's 15, then sort of, you sort of be your own best coach there. So I'll move away on this tension bar. I'll get my feet just about sort of the width of maybe a mid iron a three or four iron, something like that. And then it's down, up, down, pushing through the ground, not letting that bar and the band rotate me to the right. I'm resisting the rotation. And this one particular, it's important to hold the position at the top mm -hmm. for a count of one, because when I do that, the extension through the left side of my body is resisting the rotation. It's getting endurance, it's getting strength. And especially in those last few reps, which I call the champion reps, is when it gets harder is when you have to really focus in even more and try and call on more of those muscle groups and those fibers to hold you in the proper uh, form there. I like that. Champion rips. Huh? That's awesome. That's right. <laughs> Those are the ones that hurt the most. Yeah. And uh, again, I'll, I'll do it uh, on the other side just to balance it out. Again, good setup. That bar is right centered on my chest and it's just down. Good form in the squat. I'm not going to talk about that. You guys should know how to do a good squat. Everything's moving in sync. Everything's moving together. Resisting rotation. Holding that extended position to challenge the muscle groups that you're looking to challenge. And like I said, nobody's paying me to do this. I feel like it's something that I've always kind of wanted to contribute back to the game and to anybody out there that's 
looking to prevent injury and enhance performance, especially in the sport of golf, because uh, it's, it's not a game that your body was really designed to play, um, and it can take a toll if you're certainly not training the right muscle groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Though. I think, yeah, anti-rotation, uh, you know, mutual friend, Chris Frank, like that's, I've been working with that stuff for years, years and years. I mean, all our cable systems we have, all the bands, and it's something we've, we put in our, all our pro programs because I know like the, 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 the terminology I say is you don't want to have a Ferrari without having good brakes, right? You're for, you're, you need brakes. Brakes are priority. Mm -hmm. like, if I want to have a fast car, I got to make sure I can stop. And I tell it to our, our athletes that come in the door. I was like, you want to be high performance? You want to be able to uh, express power? Well, you got to be able to control that power. Because I know, I've seen it, I've been there, even myself. I'm, I'm an overpowered athlete. You know, I've had lower back issues myself. And again, it's things that I took for granted in a sense. Because I could always overcome mm. it just with strength and pure power and force. But actually going deep to the, to the, to the musculature of the core strength and anti-rotational stuff... I think it's a, it's a par paramount movement you have to have mastery first. That's yeah, awesome. and this is uh, thanks to my, my good friend on PGA Tour Champions and at Golf Channel, uh, Justin Leonard, who loves this device. He introduced me to it. That's great. And it, it's really been well, it's sort portable, of... portable, so easy. It, it's yeah. easy to travel with, and the bands, they have different resistances, and you can also anchor the bands in different ways to do... Uh, more sort of standard uh, band work. Mm -hmm. um, it's really been a wonderful device and one of my favorites that sort of I turn to on, on a regular basis, but one that I get the most out of. You don't want to spend time on exercises that aren't giving you benefit, right? Sure. And I think there's so much out there these days and there's so many people trying to sell certain things that, you know, I just feel like through my expertise and my experience in the game itself and talking to teachers and players, instructors and evaluating it from a 360 degree angle, um, I've come up with a pretty good plan on just, you know, how to stay fit mm -hmm. uh, for golf, um, how to prevent injury. And I just wanted to share that with, oh, with all you. of you out there. Yeah, so awesome. uh, thanks again to Lawrence for having us in his space. Uh, beautiful gym here. If you're ever in Albuquerque, come check it out. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate it.